Well, that wasn't such a chore, now, was it? I think the thing that made me feel best was um, we sort of got the stamp of approval from psychologists and educators in, in America who, who felt that um, Ghostbusters was um, a good thing for kids to play. They found that uh, this was uh, certified and documented uh, in a major article in the Chicago Tribune. Uh, that t teachers said that uh, they liked the kids playing Ghostbusters because it was non-competitive. Uh, there were no good guys and bad guys. It wasn't uh, like a, a war game. It wasn't cowboys against Indians or uh, Americans against Russians. It was it was people together against uh, the unknown, battling the unknown. Also, uh, for little children, it seems to have a uh, it gives them confidence uh, right at the age when they're most afraid of the supernatural. Uh, which apparently is from five to seven, uh, along comes the cartoon show and kids identifying with the Ghostbusters, feeling they can actually uh, defend themselves against the supernatural. So I guess a lot of kids wrap themselves in their Ghostbuster toys and costumes at night and go to sleep and sleep well. And do they dream about Slimer? What are the things that Slimer will and will not do? Chuck? He will never hurt anybody. Even his enemies, I don't think he'll ever really hurt them. He can cause them to fall into an ash can or the door slams and they're locked in or something. But I, is that, am I right? Yeah, absolutely. And yeah. The, the worst thing he ever does is slime people, and that's for the most part by accident or out of his exuberance. So, now we know. Always exuberant is Dan Aykroyd, and he's got a suggestion for you. If you want to be a Ghostbuster at home, it's very easy. You just have to check the research and just ask your grandfather, your uncle, your aunt, uh, your mother, your dad, uh, big brother, about uh, some of the local legends, and you'll find that uh, you may have a ghost closer to you than you might think. Something strange. 